The Invincible is the story of a heavily armed exploration ship that sets out to discover what happened to the Condor, a similar ship that landed on the uninhabited and desolate planet Regis III before losing contact without warning. The first half of the book focuses on the crew's efforts to discover what happened to the Condor and its crew, and they soon discover a mysterious artificial city which seems to have been abandoned long ago. They then discover the Condor, still intact and largely undamaged, hundreds of kilometers from the city. Then they have their first encounter with an ominous and metallic cloud that emits a strong electromagnetic field and interferes with their communications. Things quickly spiral downward as they realize they are dealing with an artificial machine intelligence that does not possess higher consciousness, but is perfectly capable of destroying human technology and mental functions, and even the mighty antimatter weaponry of the Invincible. There are various arguments among the crew, particularly the captain and the first navigator, Rohan, who is the main character in the story, about how to confront this implacable alien swarm intelligence, one that hardly seems aware of the pitiful human presence on the planet. However, unlike Chris Kelvin in Solaris, we really don't get to know the human characters in The Invincible, as they seem largely lost in the face of an impossible situation. Ostensibly they are there to discover the crew of the Condor, but their whole mission comes into question, and by extension the whole justification for human exploration of strange and hostile worlds is also put under the microscope. Do humans really have a moral imperative to explore and conquer, and when they encounter an inorganic swarm intelligence that is perfectly adapted to its environment, but also perfectly uninterested in organic life, what possible gain can be had by trying to communicate? Invincible is a classic sci-fi story written in the early 1960 S.B.Y. Stanislaw Lem then translated into English in the early 1970s. Having a forbidden planet feel with not only accurate science or with believable characters, the Invincible manages to be quite modern, even 50 years after it was written.